What is up everybody, it is I, Ronan, and today I'm coming at you to talk about the ban list. So I'm sure you've all seen um, what is on the ban list. I mostly want to talk about what I feel it means and what the best deck is going forward, so on and so forth. But just for a quick recap, just so everyone knows what is what. Uh, new bans, we have Blackwing, Sea of the Cloak, Desdruder, the Lost Dragon's Frisian, uh, Glow Up Bulb, Lunalite Tiger, Spiral Master Plan. Uh, and that is all the limits, I f all the bands, I think. Uh, limits. Uh, we now have Danger Jackalope and Tsuchinoko. We also have ABC Dragon Buster. Uh, totally awesome and Dryden are now limited. Uh, this is Dryden coming back, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, Instant Fusion is limited, as well as Mind Control. And Zodiac Barrage. Uh, now onto the semi limits. Uh, Mal Mali is back to two. Sky Striker Mega Widow Hornet also back to two. Uh, and as far as unlimited stuff, we have Deep Sea Diva, Necroface, Spiral Gear Drone, and Pot of Avarice. So, uh, what does this all mean? Well, a lot of this comes down to the fact that I think uh, Needle Fiber is going to exist soon, or Helka Febrax, I guess it's actually called. Uh, so, the big tuners, they got banned. Uh, Master Plan got banned because, you know, Magician Soul, and that made that stuff broken. Uh, as well as stuff like uh, the dangers just slowly being hit down. I have been doing that for a while. It makes sense that the two main ones are now also limited. Uh, ABC Dragon Buster, um, I mean, I guess you can make a bunch of them, and that was, like, a lot of disruptions, uh, oh, wait, yeah, I forgot Trish and TG Hyper Librarian as well, my bad. Uh, I really feel like, just based on this, they were trying to hit things that would just, like, super spammy, make a bunch of negates, and now you don't play type decks uh i guess well a lot of these hits i understand why they happened like um uh all right so example the dangers they've been needing that since their introduction uh master plan i mean maybe yeah master plan is actually fine i was gonna say maybe actually ban magician soul but then you hurt Dark Magicians instead, uh, and another card could come forward to be the problem, so Master Plan is a fine hit. Uh, all the main tuners for your Helka Feebrax plays, so makes sense. Uh, Glow Up Bulb especially, it was a one card, like, Link 4, so, I mean, that, that stuff, that was just dumb. Uh, so yeah, good thing. That's gone now. Uh, Lunalite Tiger, I don't know much about the infinite negate thing, but I do know that Lunalite Tiger was a big part of it, so... Yeah, that's why I am led to believe that this was to stop, like, just absolutely dumb combo decks. Uh, but now let's go ahead and talk about what it means. So first off, a lot of the decks that people were going to play... Not nearly as powerful as they were going to be, I don't think. Uh, you know, frogs, uh, definitely, definitely very hurt by that. I feel like, I, a lot of people are talking about Dragon Buster, but I kind of feel like Totally Awesome was the most unnecessary hit. Just because when it came to frogs, the only, the only thing they really had was making multiple toads and getting like a dupe frog onto the field. So I feel like that was a little unnecessary. Um, the Trishula, I get it. You don't want hand loops, so that's fine. Hyper Librarian, um, drawing cards is rough. You don't want people to draw cards, and it's basically FTK fuel, potentially, I suppose. Uh, Dryden coming back to one is. Pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure how good it ends up being with Barrage at one. Just because Barrage is a pretty important part of modern zoo, at least to my understanding. So, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going to happen with Zodiac. I do believe it'll be interesting to see, though. I'm just, 
I'm not sure if like one Dryadent is going to shoot them through the stars or anything, but we'll see. We'll see. I I'm very curious to see what happens with that. Uh, semi limits. Um, they don't really matter. I mean, Widow Anchor coming back to two is cool. I guess Mali has bounced between two and three for a while now. Uh, ever since the start of Link format, really. But Mecha, uh, yeah, no, Wid Widow Anchor coming back to two, that could be relevant. It's definitely a good disruption for some decks to run back. So, I don't know, I'd keep your eye on that. Um, I don't really think many of the Unlimits matter, except for Necroface and Pot of Avarice. Because Pot of Avarice obviously makes Volcanics the best deck. I mean, it's Pot of Greed for them! They have infinite Raikekis now, it's... Oh no, it's just... Oh, it's it's really funny. I do like that unintentional power of Uh, Necroface Mill, definitely a deck I'm gonna try to make at some point. Uh... But no, I really just feel like the goal of this ban list was to hit the big, dumb combo decks that end on just, like, infinite negates or disruptions. Um, I don't know how successful that was. I feel like it hit the sort of meta contenders that were going to be insane in Master Rule 5. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really sure what the best deck will be right now. I'm not really sure what Spiral does without Master Plan. Uh, Luna Lights, I guess you could do the Fusion OTK variant of it. Um, uh, without Tiger, it's much harder to play. I mean, I guess you could run more Luna Light Perfume potentially, but that might be the only thing there. Uh, the tuners that the, um, uh, our boy Helka Febrax would normally summon, uh, those being gone, I think definitely makes it less powerful. Still a strong card, though, pretty obviously. Uh, it just takes a little bit more work to make it now. Uh, now for the limits. Uh, Ori went over Zoo, Ori went over Danger, they've had that coming for a while. ABC Buster Dragon, I'm not sure how relevant that would be. I mean, I do get that it's like, it's a very good card and being able to make a bunch of them is scary. But I think if you had it at two, it'd probably be okay. Um, I don't know. Let me know. I feel like being at three, definitely a little strong, but uh, not at one. It didn't need to be at one. Uh, Hyper Library and Trish, I am perfectly fine with those. I don't like just combo wombo, let me make a synchro monster decks, and I don't like hand loops, so, you know, okay, yeah. Instant Fusion, I mean, yeah, it, it just does too much now. It really just does too much. Mind Control, it could become dumb, so I, I can understand that. Uh... Barrage, I feel like they could have waited with Barrage a little bit. Just see what happens with Zoo now. Just, just see what happens first, okay? Just, you didn't need to put Barrage at one. You, you really didn't. Uh, I mean, again, Widow Anchor, possibly cool disruption. And I am interested to see what happens with Necroface and Pot of Avarice. Because uh, I feel like those could be interesting. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the video. Let me know what you all think of the ban list. Do you think there are any hits that really need to happen besides Mystic Mind not being hit? Why is that still here? I don't know why. I hate it. It's a terrible, terrible card. Uh, do you think there's anything that could have just gone to Unlimit? Do you think there's anything that should have been semi-limited? Uh, but, uh, yeah, all that being said, like if you liked, comment if you have something to say, and subscribe if you want some more. This has been Ronan, signing off.